morning. How y'all doing out there? I hope y'all can hear me out there. Good morning. Good morning. The first video today is going to be about Bubba Wallace as he won uh, the Talladega Cup Series, the NASCAR. He became the first African-American driver to win since Wendell Scott. And this was first one since 1963. Congratulations, Bubba Wallace. One of the co-owners of his race team is none other than Michael Jordan. So there's a lot of significance going on. Now, Bubba Wallace... Being a black driver in NASCAR is kind of like Tiger Woods on the golf course. And it's even more good old boy in the NASCAR circuit. Now, back in the day, I watched the Wendell Scott story. Richard Pryor and Pam Greer played those roles in those movies. And Richard Pryor portrayed Wendell Scott. And it's one of the most underrated films in the Richard Pryor film category, catalog, if you will. But it told the story of a black race car driver who was running from the law and how he became so good at driving. And he got on the surface. But remember, this was hardcore Jim Crow. There was no civil rights. And them good old boys was throwing Confederate flags, N-words, black cats, everything you can think of in the kitchen sink at a black man at that time. So Bubba Wallace comes along, and he's dealt with racism too. He had that noose last year. And he had, you know, and he was speaking out and candidly. You know, when people try to say, well, the younger generation may not experience, yes, you do. Because he had a noose in the garage. He's dealt with it. He's in a sport where they're not, they they may play somewhat PC on TV. However, they still got a, a strong good old boy in the NASCAR. You know, it's tidy in our race, cigarettes, etc. But this was very impressive that he got it and he won it. Even though it was stopped. He had done multiple laps. He had conquered, and he won. <clears throat> and let's be realistic. Let's talk to the elephant in the room. If you're black in a sport that's considered predominantly white, you better win. You don't have the luxury of being a top 10, top 5, even top 2 or 3. You got to win. You remember the Williams sisters in tennis? Because Serena stamped it up. Venus did too, but Serena. And, of course, Tiger Woods in golf and now Bubba Wallace and NASCAR, you don't have that luxury to just be pretty good or mediocre. They looking at you, it's like you represent the whole race, you gots to win. And he got that chip right now, so they can't take it from him. That's my thoughts and takes about Bubba, Bubba Wallace winning the Talladega NASCAR, becoming the second black driver to do so. And if you've never seen that Wendell Scott movie, do watch it. It's really good. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for another. And uh, Bubba Wallace is making some noise, and congratulations to him because he is in a sport that has the face of hate, and it's a good old boy sport. But again, another barrier coming down. Respect.